Hi, welcome to TFLP Microcasters. <coughs> I'm Lucas, and I'm here with Christian and Anna. What's up? Good evening. So, the day has finally come where we get to review Scorponok because Anna finally got him. Yeah, I did. Robot Scorpion time. A Anna said, no, no, don't do it until I get him. And yeah, I definitely said that. He was not in stock for many a month. And then, I guess, what was it? Hasbro Pulse, I think, like, had a small yes. shipment. I yep. said, you guys are forbidden from doing Scorpionock until I get it. She did say that. That's we didn't want to cross her, so. You have no freedom under my will. See, yeah. I was all like a super villain. Mm -hmm. I'm real scary when I get going. Yeah, I don't know yeah. if uh, the figure, so it sold out from big or from uh, Hasbro Toy Shop. And then I, I don't know, like, I would assume, like, at some point, we're going to see him again, like, somewhere? Hopefully. I think most of us believe that it will be stocked in various places before Christmas. Yeah, I don't think we've seen stock from Amazon, especially. I don't think we've seen stock from Walmart, but I'm not sure if we should. Although we got it. Lucas, you and I got ours from Target. Or at least I got mine from Target. Did you get it from Big Bad? Did I get mine from Big Bad? I can't remember. I think I got mine did. from Big Bad. Did you? Okay, I thought you got yours from Target. I know you Why found one at our target, but I think you might have already had yours by then. Yeah. Yeah, but then he was gone after that, so. Yeah, so he's been some places, but not other places. He's coming to more places, apparently. Well, it's, it's such out. a weird thing, because I feel like every other Titan, like, you've never had to worry about it. Like, a lot of them have went on clearance and whatnot. And even the ones that were popular, like, you could find it readily initially. Like, this is one of the first ones where it seems like it's kind of hard to find. That's yeah, really sold out. Yeah, Omega was a little difficult. But if you were, you know, on top of it, you could get it pretty easily for a while. Scorponok, you got to be right at it. Yeah, you really do. Right. I wonder why that is. Maybe if we review it, the secrets will be released. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I, I don't think that's it. I think it's probably the Hasbro's probably either making less or the demand is higher. Probably oh, that they're making also. less is what I'm guessing. So, somewhere in the middle of those things. Yeah. So, so yeah, Anna, what, what, what do you think of your Scorpion? Uh, I'm sure I can bring out the scorpion mode as I put down his companion friend. Well, sort of. This man. Friend. Yeah, we can talk about the headmaster because I think, like, I remember when they did the reveal, they just revealed the headmaster and people were so excited about it. And now that I have it, I was like, eh, okay. You know what it really needs besides paint? It needs a name. It doesn't, doesn't have, have a name? Official name at all? It doesn't have a name. Huh. Scorpion Studer isn't a good enough name. Master is Zarek. Okay. But this thing itself doesn't have a name. Well, it's a new that. piece. That, you know, G One didn't have this, so I figured they would name it something like they did with uh, okay. Emissary and Cerebros, but they uh, did not. This doesn't have a name. This thing weighs roughly fifty pounds. Very heavy. I don't know. You managed to like. Hold it with one hand there. You know, so. That's a pretty good hoist, Anna. I'm pretty impressed. Yeah. Was it? It's because yeah. I'm so extremely strong. So, the thing that I really like about Scorponok in general is he's just so G1. And, <sighs> you know, Christian, I know that you like, you said that you didn't really like Trypticon and. But I, I love Trypticon as well just because it's like they essentially just took the G1 toy and threw some extra articulation and like upscaled it like like double the size. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I think Trypticon's annoying because of its tail wideness problem. But other than that, he, he's, he looks the part. I don't think he's very fun to play with. Scorpionic, I think, is very fun to play with. 
Scorpion is very fun to play with. Like, this is, I know it's very strange for me as a collector to display anything in its, you know, alt mode or beast mode, but this is how it's going to be displayed if I can figure out a way to make room for it. Because I just love this goofy scorpion. And this is, as Lucas said, the goofy scorpion I wanted when I was seven and couldn't afford because it was, you know, aftermarket rare and, you know, I was seven. So I didn't exactly have money of my own to spend on things. And yeah, this is, this is it, you know, this is that goofy scorpion again. It's just a bigger, nicer version of that goofy scorpion. But I feel like again, like Metroplex and uh, Scorpionok both, you know, suffer from the same issue to where they're not really that big. Like the G1 versions aren't like four no. max is, is fantastic, but uh, those ones aren't. And so I think that the fact that like we actually got them in, you know, the, like a better size, like a, a bigger size or whatever. I mean, it's just, it's just great. I agree with that for sure. I saw the show, the rebirth show before I saw the toys, just cause that's how things happen when I was a kid. And, you know, I saw pictures of the toys, but never together. So when I saw them together for the first time at my first BotCon, I was like, why is Scorponok half the size of Fort Max? But in the show, they're the same size and duke it out. I never understood that. You don't have to have that problem anymore. Yeah, no, they can actually be the same size now. They can have fun. I think if you want to split hair, Scorponok's just a little shorter, but it's not substantial. They can hug and dance together. They they could do that uh, if they weren't on opposing sides. Oh, you know, sometimes they get along. I, I don't think that's ever happened. They do now. In my house. Well, okay. I don't have a comeback for that. Well, great. Excellent. <laughs> so Scorpionok's head actually kind of surprised me how small it is. Like, it's not like like tiny toy, you know, this looks weird small, but it's a lot smaller than Fort Max's head. And, like, it surprised me that it both is a lot smaller than Fort Max's head, but it doesn't bother me at all. It still looks like a big head, actually. I mean, if you want to, if you want to talk about the head, this is the man. We talked about the man a second ago. <laughs> the head turns into. I think this works better as a man than uh, Cerebros does. Yeah. That one was kind of limited and, and blocky, limited by its design. This has your know, back kibble because the face is on the back and it doesn't have any paint. But its actual articulation points are unhindered by its functionality, which is great. Yeah, no, I agree with that. But, you know, I honestly liked Cerebrus better as a as the way it looked. I think it looks cooler. It definitely doesn't play as well because it's an older toy. But I think it does look neater. Maybe. To me. It's just to me. I haven't messed around with Cerebros in a while. Yeah, it's probably been a long time. This guy, um, this man needs a weapon of some sort. Cerebros, at least, if you've got a couple of the, if you got the San Diego one or you got the special sword, Cerebros has a sword that comes with that, which is nice because the tip comes off and it's a tiny sword for Cerebros. This guy has nothing, which is a bit annoying. You can give him the tail f or whatever, the little spear from I Fast Track. Could. The little spear is worthless, and we'll get to that. I hate that thing. The <laughs> big spear <laughs> is even more worthless, and we'll get to that too. Don't worry. Christian's rant time is coming up. Yay, rant time. How exciting. You guys want to so, see a big old... I mean, the one the one thing that's at least exciting is, is at least Fast Track came out the same time as the figure, like... That's why I hated, like, when Fort Max came out, and you're like, oh, like, it doesn't even come with all the guys and accessories. Right. And, yeah, and we and didn't know any plans had. for any of those things to ever come out at the time. We still need Slammer. Well, and whatever what, Fort Max's dude is called. There's a couple of uh, uh, upgrade kits coming for Fort Max, right? Or not Fort Max, I'm sorry, Scorponok. Yes. Right, from... Yeah, yeah it's about $100 worth of upgrade because you can buy. Right. Slammer's coming out in the next wave, isn't it? I've seen a listing for Kingdom, but then that listing has gone away. Oh, okay. So, it's going to be a repaint of... Uh, Warpath. Warpath, yeah. So about score. Anyway, about? you, you want to see a big old street? Street? Yeah. Sure. 
Okay, here we go. He one armed it he's too. A, he's a street. He's a street. He's got like a gas station or whatever up here. I don't know what you want to call that. But in general, he's a long street. Yeah, pretty much. Which is okay, See, actually. It looks nice. I wish it had like actual roads on the street. It's got it, you know, here on the ends right there. I but it doesn't recently, have any on the actual leg parts. I've been recently looking at people's like displays they've made out of the cities, out of the various city bot figures, and I'm realizing that they definitely look better when you have them together. When you actually have them like displayed together, when you add some of the little um uh, what are they called? Not utilitizer, modulator bases. When you add the uh, micromaster bases and the, the ramps and everything, they suddenly start to actually look like something where each individual Titan kind of looks like a vague something by itself. Yeah. That's a very heavy street that Christian has. I mean, I feel like that, that this recreates the G1 base mode really accurately, though. Oh, Absolutely. I mean, I think that this is a hundred times better. Like, this is the one thing, like, you know, we were kind of ranking our Titans, like, the other day. And I really don't like Fort Max. Um, and the reason is, is because I feel like the G1 Fort Max, number one, like, is about the same size, just less articulation. But I feel like he does the city mode so much better than what the uh, the Titan class one does. And it doesn't really... Like, I just don't think that it pulls off that base mode very well at all. And th whereas this does. Like, I think that this looks great. Um, yeah, it looks fine. Yeah, I don't know. Its so colors help a lot by being so vibrant. It does. So here's a close-up with the scorpion head. It's it's very vague, right? Like, it kind of has pincers. It has eyes-ish things on the side. It doesn't really have a mouth. You know, it's... It's kind of what it is. Um, but I personally am happy with the scorpion mode. I, I love the random plastic piece you just plug in. Yeah. The next it piece. threw me off when I like opened the box and I'm mm -hmm. like, what, what is this? Like, it's just kind of hanging out of the box. Like, what the heck is this? Yeah. Yeah, I was, I was a little confused. I, I tried to put it everywhere. I was like, this goes on his knee. This is an elbow pad. This is a neck holder. Okay. <laughs> Whatever it is. It's, it's interesting. It's bizarre. Yeah, Scorpion does come in a couple parts when you get them. Like, a few of his pieces are removed. It's not, like, crazy assembly required or anything, but he also comes not, in robot mode with his head removed. It's not nearly so macabre as Fort Max and Metroplex coming with their arms removed. Yeah, it does not come with its arm removed, which is nice, because those arms were hell to get in. Yeah. They were yeah, hard they to um, I remember something being hard to pop in in Trypticon, too. Did you have to put his legs on? Was that what it was? Yeah, one of his legs, I think. Something was just, yeah. I, like, they're really good joints, so they're hard to pop in. So that's the no, problem. None of that this time. There's an appropriately no. sized box. No, and head goes on. And, yeah, the box felt really big. And it was fine. It worked the way it was. Uh, I like what I will talk about the Scorpio Mo real fast because I put mine in it. I don't want to lift it again, though, because my arms are going to break off. <laughs> I uh, will lift it again. Uh, it has, you know, the fully articulated arms. You know, Scorpion Arc's arms become the Scorpion arms and have the nice big claws with multiple points of articulation. It can hold stuff, as in the picture I shared earlier with the holding dinosaurs, which is cool. Um, I like that it can hold stuff because then it can eat everything. And that's fun. Um, the Scorpion tail is a little, you know, a little underwhelming as far as scorpion tails go, but I it's fun. It, it's cool. Like, it's a little laser beam scorpion tail. It's fun, but, like, I kind of wish it could thrash around a bit because I, I, I like I like scorpions. So that's a weird thing. Like, you're going to hear Anna likes weird, scary monsters from the Animal Kingdom multiple times with Kingdom coming out. Um, and I, I do like scorpions. So I kind of wish I had more of an articulated scorpion tail. But I'm not going to complain because it is great. It looks just like G1. And I've wanted one of these forever. Yeah, yeah the funny thing is, is, I mean, the G1 Scorpionok is... <sighs> 
pretty, I mean, it's not that hard to find uh, a G1 version, but like, I mean, it's still pretty expensive. It's like, if you want it complete or near complete, it's, you know, probably going to cost you two, three hundred bucks. Um, you know, so this is actually cheaper than if you got a G1 version. Plus, like, I don't know. I mean, there's, like, the condition varies so, so widely. It does. Yeah, often, I think that figure kept pretty well, like, as far as, like, you know, ones that still exist aren't too beat up, but still, like, this is a good way to get it now. Good, reliable way to get a new inbox, as long as you can find one. But yeah, as James says in the chat about Fort Max and the fact that, like, you can get, you can kind of fan mode a, uh, a city mode. Like, I wouldn't have as big a complaint if you could act, like, if they solidly held in, like, that, that fan mode uh, that you can make. But it's just kind of, like, a thing that's there. It's just not all that great. I don't know. And again, I feel like that the G1 does it so well that it's just, like, in comparison. I, I, I think that if, like... If Fort Max was Metro G one Metroplex, I wouldn't have as big a problem as if the fact that it's like, you know, the the G one Fort Max still I feel like it holds up as a really good figure, other than it is a brick. Yeah. Did you show off the headmaster, Christian? The Zarek, the little Zarek? Baby Z. Baby Z. I'm good with that. Baby Z. It, so it's a good reminder of how underwhelming Titan Masters were. <laughs> how back when we were doing Titus Returns, you would open one and you'd be like, yay, it turns into a why am I bothering? And then you put the head back on. Yep. Yep. So there it is. Yay. <clears throat> With a little more paint, it can, of course, be cool because we've seen, you know, the few of them that you get paint, they do look a lot better. With a couple more details on them. But, you know, it's just another, it's another Titan Master. It's fine for what it is. I am glad that they took the paint operations and put them where they did because yeah, on the big scorpion mode and on the, the big headmaster mode, that paint is amazing. It's immaculate. I, I don't really have any like missing paint for bot mode or scorpion mode. No, there really isn't. Yeah. Like it's, it's, all it's there. lacking in you know, this man and on the headmaster. But if you've got those integrated into those other modes, it doesn't really matter because you won't see it. Yeah, no, it, it definitely rocks the most that it's supposed to. Yeah. But that's the of thing is, is like, this is one of the first figures that I haven't felt the need to, like, go straight to Toy Hacks and, you know, pay $50 for their yeah, you know, sticker yeah. upgrade kit. Like, they actually have all the paint in the places that I, you know, would want it in. Yeah, there's no price regret with this figure. Like, there was nothing about, like, when I took it out of the box, even in front of my husband, who's, you know, bought it for me for my birthday, and is a little judgmental towards how much Transformers cost. Like, I didn't have to be like, this is why it's $160. Ha, ha, ha. No, it was fine. It was just like, this is obviously a very nice, big, fancy figure, and I didn't really have to justify it at all. Now, there are the upgrade kits coming. One of the upgrade kits is specifically to make these better. Um, the guns, they go on his shoulders um, in either mode. They don't have articulation on the cannons, on the barrels. And the um, the upgrade kit will add that if you need it. Um, I like them as they are. I think they're really cool guns. They're, they're fine um, as long as they're displayed. When I take them off, I get mad at them because I remember just how hollow... They are underneath, but then when they go on them, you don't see the hollowness, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, right. that's pretty great. So it's really fine, but at the same time, like there's that little bit of me that kind of pines for nicer guns. So maybe I'll look into it. The other, it's like there's a bunch of different things for the upgrades, but the other one that stands out to me is that I just stuck his claw in my mouth. Mm. Um, the other one that stands out to me is his toesies. They have an upgrade kit coming out for his legs where they're actually more of the traditional ball jointed where they can move around. I don't think they're actually ball jointed, but they have a little mm. more articulation, you know, backwards and forward. You might be able to get a little bit of leg usage out of them. Because really what he does right now is he kind of just stands on the bottom of the figure if you put the legs out beside it, which is fine, but he might actually be able to stand on his legs if you get the articulated ones. But I mean, that's sinking, you know, 50 to to $100 into upgrade kits on a figure that you've already paid 
Yeah, because I think the upgrade kits, I think, are, what, like, 40 bucks each? I think, and there's two of them, so... I think that's right. Yeah, they're not well, cheap. If you want to talk about upgrade kits, you could buy the official Hasbro upgrade kit in the form of Fast Track. Yes. You can Fast Track your way to it. And, you know, oh, you before we get to that, though, should we talk yeah. about the bot mode for the for oh, Scorponok a little bit more? Fine. So, I, guess we I have them off camera, the or, or well, it, it's on the it's on my camera, Christian, but I okay. know you can't see it or whatever. But um, the articulation is really good, um, and one thing, like. I worried a little bit in the pictures just that like the legs wouldn't be solid enough with the way the backs are but like I mean it's totally fine there's no issues but like the legs the ratchets are really solid um, one thing that I have and, and he does have uh, ankle tilt which is really nice um, so like you know just enough um, and then the, like the backs of the legs oh, if you can see on the thing, the like backs, like it's just enough to kind of hold up the the backs of the ankles. So okay, um, it's fine. But um, I was gonna say one thing that people have had issues with, and I feel like your mileage may vary, is how strong the ratchets are on your um, on the arms. So I know some people have complained that got it that his arm ratchets could barely hold things up. Like mine are like pretty solid um like they could be a little bit tighter but i mean it's totally fine mine are strong right now i'm sure i'll wear them out because i'm gonna play with the same yeah, i mean like you're not i mean like i'm pushing down on it and it's not right. like it's not it's not horrible but like i i know i've seen other people where literally they got it and it just like drooped way down so that'd um, be so sad but yeah like i really again love the paint apps in bot mode like i just think that i mean this you know captures the g1 aesthetic just so well oh yeah um for that so um i'm trying to think what else to say about bot mode i mean again the articulation is really good he has um the uh waist swivel uh that he can get um you know the legs go out Articulation with the he can grab anybody with those claws. He can grab, yeah, well, not, not anybody. We'll, get to well it can't grab its own guy, I know, but it can grab can, this guy. Can you can not? Is there not a way to? Or I guess oh. there's no, yeah, yeah, we'll talk about that in a second. We'll, so, we'll, talk about it. we'll get there, but yeah, like as far as holding other toys to make it look like it's going to eat them or throw them or kill them or whatever, it can totally do that. You totally reenact a certain classic movie, Jazz and Megatron scene. You can have him feed someone in half with his big claws. What? So. I'm kind of morbid. Don't do that. I already <laughs> talked about that scene once today. Peter quoted it at me. Fantastic. Anyway, yeah, he also has that um, shield thing. Lucas, you can show the off. The shield thing is cool. Yeah, it's got another grabber. So it's like, you know, it's a scorpion claw hand guy with a scorpion claw as an arm thing. Can, can this part hold fast track? Christian, have you tried that? I doubt it. I, I really <laughs> doubt it. Not the way it's supposed to, at least. Might be able to hold him like a man being held. Like, but yeah. Me. I think I'm probably going to get the upgrade kit that includes the orange gun. Just because I feel I like I that's to. kind of an integral part of it. Uh, I don't know that I'm going to get the other one, but... Yeah, I might get the other one because I kind of want the scorpion legs to move. Oh, yeah, and if you're going to be in scorpion <laughs> mode like you said you would be, then I think that makes sense. Right. Yeah, I, I really do love scorpion mode. It's so cute. Cool. So, okay. It is! It's adorable! It's awesome. I like it a lot. I want to pet it. Do Not it. really, because it's plastic. Okay. But yeah, I mean, I feel like just in general that this is kind of like all I want from the Titans. And <coughs> now that, you know, Omega and uh, Scorponok have both come out and like the ratchets are better and all that type of thing. Like there's a little more paint apps and whatnot. Now I want them to redo Metroplex. Right. Yeah, I was a little worried 
that um, after 30 years of buildup, you know, I've wanted this, I've wanted a Scorpidox for 30 years. I was a little worried that I would get it and just be like, this isn't what I always wanted as a kid. I'm so disappointed, but I definitely got it and started playing with it. I was like, this is exactly what my kid brain thought it would feel like to play with this toy because it's articulated now. So I don't have to pretend. Um, it's great. So how do you, very, very how do you pleased. like them compared to Omega? You have Omega Supreme, right? Or do you? Not? I don't. Oh, for I some reason I thought you got him. No, I I ended up with um I ended up with your Gabriel, remember? So oh, you know, I that that's right. I I forgot. Forgot. <laughs> Which I still have it open. It's still in my basement, just standing there at the box. Um, I have a G one Omega. This is more articulated than G one Omega Supreme. Shock. G one Omega Supreme yeah. is way cooler though, except walks if you put batteries in it. I still need to replace the electronics in mine. It's so dorky. I love it. But um, I I think this is the best of the Titans. Like, I definitely think it is cooler than Omega. I think Omega is fine. I think, like, honestly, in a lot of ways, I do like that Omega more than the three par- third-party MP-style ones in a lot of ways just because it kind of works better. It's a smoother, more toy-like product, so it's cool. Um, so I do like that thing. I just think this is way cooler. Um also, Omega is always going to have that problem where he just kind of comes apart into different crap. That's never going to be as cool as laying down and turning into a giant robot scorpion. Like, this is always a way cooler thing to do. If I could choose to turn into a rocket base or a scorpion, definitely a scorpion. Good endorsement. <laughs> a little hyperactive tonight. Uh, I think Scorpionock is my favorite Titan. Omega is still my second favorite Titan. Omega is my favorite until Scorponok arrived. But that's just, it's the same reasons I like Scorponok, which are either the, the better paint, the more robust artic- articulation, just the, the better attention to detail than the previous Titans. But Scorponok edges out because, like Anna said, he doesn't br- have to break apart into a bunch of random crap. That's just an Omega thing. And that's, that's how Omega will always be. Scorponok benefits from not doing that. Yeah, Scorpion is just a neater design because yeah. it's a giant scorpion. Now, if we're talking about characters, I think I like Omega more than Scorpion, but depends on what universe. No, I like Scorpion better. Yeah, I gotta go with Anna on this one. I think Scorpion cooler. Yeah. Big scary fella. But, Does lots yeah. of things. Yeah. I don't know. I mean, I do think, again, just having the, like, you know, the right QC on these things, like, helps immensely and I, I think that that's you know kind of my issue with some of the other titans is is that the ratchets aren't quite as strong and and things like that so yeah and i i do kind of agree with you lucas that i wish metroplex could be updated like he does when i do look at him over there it's just like he's got all these things going wrong with them and mine is right beside fort max that Formax doesn't. Like, Formax was very much, like, a straight upgrade of that build. So standing them side by side is almost a mistake. <laughs> because instead it's like, oh, why is there this, like, barely colored, bad stickered, tidy-headed version of you, Formax? <laughs> See, this is why you need to spend, like, $100 in upgrades like I did. And I got the like um i can't it was like the unique toys like upgrade head for it and i got and it came with a bunch of guns and stuff like that and then i you know bought the toy hack stickers and everything so i don't have as big of an issue with metroplex because of that right um but you know the legs are still kind of weak on it there's also the problem with metroplex is i don't live in a pit of darkness so mine has you know started to yellow a little bit over time and it's just going to get worse as the years go on if i lived in a perfect pit of darkness it would be great but i do not that's a good amount of sunlight gets through my window so i'm mm. surprised that mine didn't suffer for as much light as i had though yeah, you had a lot of light place. in that last a place. lot of my figures have had problems and metroplex wasn't one of them yeah i'm surprised at how much metroplex has turned just because i i never opened my window but he has He's definitely turned. I could definitely say it's because I am in the room with a window. I'm not going to move to a basement because I don't like basements. So, so Christian, if they re-released uh, Scorponok as a black Zarek, would you get it? 
That's going to be so like, hard to decide easily, for easily. me. Easily. No questions. I'd want it because it would be so pretty, but geez, the room. Minute one pre-order. <laughs> yeah. No hesitation. I have a hard time figuring out where I was going to put that, and then my husband might kill me. So... Those two things together might cause me to Just get rid of your Fort Max and replace it with Black Zarek, and then it'll be fine. Cool, I like that one. I can't get rid of Metro Mm -hmm. Plex because he was also a president. But he's yellowed now, so you can get rid of him. He's fine. fine. He's fine. He's just off white Metro Plex. It's it's all good. I'll teach you my method to bring it back. It works. Yeah, I I know I can. I know I can probably restore it because it's not like I have. It's not like I've smoked on it or anything, you know. It's not real damage. It's just normal, natural sunlight stuff. I feel like it'd be a huge pain in the neck to to try to whiten. Uh, hey, already Metroplex, one yeah. time he has had to have a major bath because once when Garrus was still a young puppy, Garrus he decided that ooh, this big toy is standing on the floor. I'm going to decorate it. It's too white, so you decorate it with some yellow paint, mm. and. Um, yeah, that took a lot, of yellow now. a lot of bathing. No, it's not why it's yellow now. He was yeah. little. He only got to the knees. Mm. He's a little guy. Oh, well, there we go. R- Randall said that he thought I was going to say just get rid of your husband. I mean, that's an option, too, so. Lucas <sighs> isn't the kind of guy who would ever give that sort of harsh advice. No. No. Not so fast track. Now, now that we've talked about Scorponok and, and said he's the greatest thing ever, fast track. Christian, your favorite deluxe of this new wave, right? If it weren't for the spear mode, I think he'd probably be fine. Just don't put him in. Well, spear are you ready? Mode. Are you ready for spear? This is spear mode, and yep. also this is apparently spear mode. This is his whole chest and head assembly. It has no place to go. It doesn't turn into another weapon. It doesn't do anything. It doesn't attach in the spear mode at all. And the spear mode does this really cool thing. It also does that really cool. Ready? And to top it all off, Scorponok can't really hold it that well. There's no 5mm ports in those claws. So you can't just like attach all these various 5mm pegs and put them anywhere. So it just kind of grasps onto the horrible arm assembly here that just does this nonsense and you kind of I thought it was supposed to peg into the hole in the center of his claw like stupidly. Holes in the center of his claw? Am I just wrong? Well like, like right before the claw starts in the orange circle there's a there's a peg there. Isn't that where it's supposed to go? Inside the claw? No not inside the claw like on top of it. Like, I thought that's where everybody was pegging theirs. Like, what now? Just put it in his hand. Like, in that orange part with the paint? Like, it definitely won't be able to stand if you do this that. This part right here? Again, it does. That how do you, how would you get it through that? Oh, the thing? orange, because the orange. Like this? There. Right here? I don't have this? A, yeah, that. So but that, like. deep enough. That's not deep enough. Is it not? I just put a foot in mine to see. And again, it's, foot. It's, it's, it, it wouldn't hold enough of this no, to it from. No, but I think that's what I've seen people doing, is sticking it in there. I well, think. It looks terrible. I mean, there's try. a 5 millimeter port right here. It looks but, super bad, like, when I've yeah, seen there's people nothing, have There's it. nothing in the claw that can actually grip it. Because you just close the claw around it. It's right. I don't know. Okay. Once again, like, just get the upgrade kits and... and you know, use that, but I, I do does not Does it have to be with a, with a real spear? Or does it just come with the gun? Or uh, a way to help a spear or anything? Okay. If they were going to make spear, and they have a, de- a dedicated part to make the spear, which is this little spade, I guess, that comes with Fast Track, and it's the tip of the spear, right? So that's a dedicated thing. It wasn't something they made up once they, you know, design fashion like hey we can make it into spear no they designed this from the get-go and left this part out and that makes me really mad i understand your anger no it's fair it's fair i'm not experienced fast track this is my only fast track is that i have the gold version still in box because i haven't opened it yet i mean i don't know like 
this is what I, I that one that is. This is Black he, Luigi. He, like he the tank mode, mode or whatever is cool. Like again, I just don't ever plan on doing the spear mode really. Um, I plan on having them in tank mode or you know having him in bot mode, and I think that he pulls those off pretty well. So yes. I don't know. Like, if you're rating that compared to Cog, like, would you rather have Cog or Fast Track? Yes. Cog. Cog. You like Cog? Better? Okay. Yeah. I like the fact that Fast Track has an alt mode. Cog has two alt modes. Uh-huh. And... <laughs> Cog's alt mode at all. This is... And Cog is the ultimate robot in disguise. This is not a, I mean, this is a tank. This looks pretty G1. Yeah, that's fine. That looks super G1, unfortunately. Because <laughs> the G1 one was not very detailed, right? It was just basically gray plastic with orange plastic sticking on it. It yeah. looks a lot like it. I mean, the gold version looks a lot cooler. I mean, it has, it has paint. I think it looks neat. I don't know. I haven't played with it yet. I really want to, but I just didn't have time today. I just recently got here since I my fast track got lost in the Target churn. Target was like, your pre-order's canceled, your pre-order's back, your pre-order's delayed. It's delayed until super winter. And now I might just cancel it because I don't know if I need two of that mold after seeing how kind of somewhat underwhelming it is. He is totally fine as a robot mode, and I'm almost done getting him to robot mode. It's not very yeah. difficult to do. You know, my gold one looks cool in robot mode in a box. His neck's a little awkward, but it's all right. He looks super bad with the gun hands that I've seen people put on him. There we go, gun, gun hands. hands. Mm. I think they're neat, because that's what he had as, as G1. He didn't have gun hands, he <laughs> yeah. had gun hands. But then yeah, but you can also put you can put though. them up on his shoulder, too, Anna. Like, so if yeah, you no, don't I want really, to do gun hands. I really like the fact that they come off. Like, they don't have to be gun hands. They're optional gun hands. Gun hands yeah, optional. Gun hands. Like, you know, Scorp does not have Scorpion Claws optional as his hands. He has Scorpion Claws. If it were me having designed this, I would have put a peg that would make the guns go this way on the shoulder. Yeah. Just because I like that look more. I did look go, more. They only go that way. There isn't, like, a peg they can do on the back or anything? Nope. Ooh. No, not really. There's a, there, it's, it would be a male to male peg. And then again, this little stupid spade, you want to hold it like a tiny sword? <laughs> Too bad, it collides with his forearm junk. Okay, well, let's just store it. Oh, okay, it says go on the back, but then it collides with the back of his shoulder junk. It's just, why would you. <laughs> I'm very upset about this spear nonsense. My plan was to have him dual wielding cool spears when Black Rorichi got here because, like, that's badass. You can't do that. Horrible. No, you can't. I love I'll hearing you rant spear. about it, though. No, it's great. Please keep I, it up. I don't think the listeners are here to listen to so, me. So, Christian, is this your least favorite figure of Earthrise, then? Yes. Scorp? Yeah. Duh. No. No. God, no. Fast Track, for sure, is my least favorite of Earthrise. Oh, I thought he's a favorite. Sorry. No, I said least favorite figure of Earthrise. Yeah, 100%. But even then, like this, he's not terrible. Right. You know, like like this is pretty accurate and kind of neat. So, Earthrise is still a pretty high bar. Fast Track is definitely the worst of the bunch. I'm still mad at Voiced. You don't need to be. I do. I do need what? to be. The passion of mine. The Trailbreaker is awesome, too. So it looks great. Amazing. They both look good, as long as you don't touch your arms. Whatever. But that was a, that was a whole show. We covered it. We did. All fine. We did. All fine, everyone. So, I don't know. I mean, I, I think that the fast track and, and whatever, like, I don't necessarily know that I needed, like, both recolors of this, but... Um, like, I don't, I don't hate it. I mean, it's fine. Yeah, I have to decide if I'm gonna, if when Black Zarek comes, which, you know, most of us think he is going to come eventually, if I'm going to get him, then I want to have both Fast Track and the Gold version. But if he, if I'm not going to get him, I'm fine with just having the Gold version because it's prettier and that can be my Fast Track. It's just Fast Track who got into bleeding himself out. I mean, the I do. The purple accents on Black Rorichi are great. 
a great color think, purple. No, it's pretty. I do think Black Zarek probably will come just because, like, in Japan, they love their black figures in general. Um, and I, I do think that there's more of a, like, uh, demand for Black Zarek in the States, too, more than some of the other ones. Yeah, I think it would be cool yeah. if we do get out. People wanted Metro Titan. People still want Metro Titan. You want Metro, want Metro Titan. Right, but like Metro Titan, like I think Black Zarek is, is more popular than Metro Titan. Black Zarek's a big Did character in the Japanese fiction, so I think That's true. At, if at the very least we'll get him for import prices, which would suck because import prices on one of these are going to be uncomfortable. I want to say it wasn't too horrible for Grand Max when I imported him, but I think that was still about $250. Yeah, I think it was. Which is what we just paid for um, freaking uh, King Poseidon for Pronicon. Is it? Two thirty. Yeah, because yeah, the six figures. Oh, for Pronicon. Yeah, you're right. You're right. And then God Neptune is one. Figure yeah, I was thinking Neptune, 200. but it's one less figure. Yeah. Sorry, I, I went Japanese on that name. No, no, no. I that's how I, I got Lego confused. American. I threw you off. Yep. No, you did confuse me. I'm so sad now. Oops, all better. Over it. Yeah. And, I don't know, I've seen some people complain, too, that there's been some QC issues on this guy. Uh, yeah. That they've gotten, like, two right fists, or they've gotten uh, the uh, the legs were messed up and things like that. So mine was fine, but I know other people have had issues. I haven't looked closely enough at mine yet to know if I am the unlucky of the three of us. Let us find out. I see a right hand. The two arms are different arms. Um, or, well, I see the... No, wait. Do I know right from the left? Yeah, I see the right hand. The left hand is covered. So it could be another right hand. Who knows? Um, our good friend Peter pointed out something to me this morning. The base layer of plastic, so not the gold paint that's on top. The base layer is made of this kind of beigey, kind of bronzy plastic, which normally is fine, except it's got a swirl. Yep. Oh, no. I don't know if it's picking up on camera at all, but you can see it really clearly on this part of the figure. Very swirly. And, of course, if you're not familiar, swirled plastic likes to just turn into dust at the slightest provocation Yeah, after a while. So we'll see if this thing holds up. Hopefully they figure that out right now. They've told us on two or three separate occasions that they figured out that problem and it's no longer a problem. And then it comes back, it's still a problem. So we'll see. Hopefully yeah, but fine. you never know. Hopefully. I mean, I feel like it's it's a problem in 20 years. So it's like, <laughs> you know, they're like, yeah, we, we fixed that. And then 20 years later, oh, sorry, like we didn't really. Yeah, it takes yeah. 20 years. I want my figures to last 20 years. That's why I'm worried about a certain other new line that I'll be talking about very soon. Well, to their credit, my G2 Combiner Wars slingshot is fine, as far as I know. That's good. But my 2007 prototype Starscream, or not prototype, protoform Starscream from the movie, the movie preview wave, is starting to get a little weird. Was he swirly? He was. He's really okay. Yeah, well. I sold him before he um, got too weird. Yeah, certain kinds of plastic don't age well. So we'll see what happens. But Squirt's made of good plastic, so he'll be Squirt's fine. Squirt's made of great plastic. Yeah. He will bring you lots of fun for a long, long time. Yeah, that's what I was saying about the original. Is like The ones that I've seen that people have taken care of, and like by taking care of, I mean not lost stuff. Like, they're in good shape still, you know? Like, it's it's a figure that was made to last, so I hope this oh, one's yeah. exactly the same. Yeah. That I can, you know, walk over to it and give it a hug when I'm 70. And think of how old I'd be in 30 years. Just under 70. How fun, right? Wow. But so, I wanted it for 30 years, so... Thirty years. So I was I was gonna say that my recommendation would be definitely buy Scorponok. Like it's by far the best Titan. Yeah. Um, you know I really like him. Um, fast Track. Like if you are a completionist and feel like you need him to go along with the figure as DLC, 
then get him, but otherwise he's not that great of a figure on his own. No, and here's the thing, like, whereas, whoops, something just died. Um, it, whereas, like, um, Cog and uh, Six Gone, like, match color-wise, like, almost perfectly with their Titans, so, like, they really look like they go together if you display them together. Um, Fast Track doesn't really do that with Scorponok, so, like, I think he's more optional. Like, if you really don't love him, it's not like he's a purple and green figure to go with the giant purple and green guy. Right, whereas, you know, Six Gun is a red and white figure, and um, Cog is blue and red, and goes really well with Metroplot, or for Max, so they fit with their dads really well. Fast Track does not fit with his dad as well. Titan dad. They look fine together, it's just, like, they're not, like, perfectly color-coded. Yeah. They're not one of those annoying couples that dress the same. <laughs> So anyway, yes, I think it's okay to optionally skip that guy if you want to. But Scorponok is not optional. Of course, you know, if it's in your budget, get Scorponok. If it's not in your budget, it's okay. We'll probably get Zarak in a while, and hopefully he'll be in your budget then. Um, so I was going to mention last night, uh, Peter and Rick were dropping some knowledge on uh, TFLP. If you want to check that out, it was, uh, it was, it was a lot of fun. I think we're going to have to, like, it, it ended up going so long that we decided to split it into two shows. So we're going to do a future episode. Uh, like they only covered 10 years worth, so we still have another 10 years to go. So you want to check that out that was fun that's both on youtube and then on the podcast feed uh and then tomorrow night i believe that uh uh paul is doing an uh oof my wallet uh oh, that's yes. gonna be on the youtube on the 9 30 eastern 8 30 central uh so that should be fun and then also book club sunday nights at 9 30 eastern 8 30 central on the discord channel and they are doing uh, the, what was it, the R.I.D., the, what was it, 2011? Uh, was we like... are doing 7 through 9? No, we did 7 through 9 No, last you week. did that already. Yeah, 10 through 12 or 10 through 15 or something like that. <laughs> it's volume 3 of the collected volumes. And Randall will probably type it into the chat in just a moment. So he's the keeper. There we go. Yeah, RID 2012 annual issues 10 and 11, so. Yeah, it's it's gotten way more exciting now that we're doing RID instead of more than meets the eye. Oh my god, I, like, it just. I actually kept on I think it's amazing, I think it's amazing that you of all people who complain about, like, Transformers being too violent and whatever, that somehow you like RID better than. It's a way less violent story. Okay. <laughs> it's not like it's not like already is bad, especially at that point in time. But more than meets the eye is just unmatched. Maybe it'll get better later. Who knows? I've never it's, really got any it's further. It's amazing right from right the now. start. It's amazing from the beginning, and I mean, I would say honestly, the R.I.D. up through the Dark Cybertron stuff, I think <clears> was like pretty good, and uh, I mean, more than meets the eye. I don't know. I mean, pretty much the whole run. I I really enjoyed myself. I know it's controversial because it kind of kind of dips at the end for it, me with Lost like, Light. It, it Lost Light dipped, uh, d like definitely dipped for me. But I seriously, like, the book club, the you guys aren't there, just so you yeah, know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But no, I know. With but book well, club, we've had some really exciting conversations the last couple of weeks. You should totally come and join us. We've right. had some really fun conversations two weeks ago. We spent half the time talking about calculation game. And last week we spent about three quarters of the show talking about how combiners are body horror for transformers. It's very fun. Lots of analogies to the human centipede. So we just go off on some really exciting topics and we're getting a pretty big little group now. So please join us. My advertisements are amazing, Christian. Oh, that, there you go. Never look at his face. <laughs> I'm concerned. So, no, it's yeah. great. We have a lot of fun. I, I may actually have time to drop in this week. I usually don't on Sunday night, so we'll oh, see. Oh, I'll be fine, Lucas. You can talk about humans at the feeds again. 
<laughs> Not really. Yeah. I don't think it'll come up. Actually, it probably will. Hmm. It's exciting. You guys have fun with that. Oh, so. we will. All right. Well, uh, thanks, everyone. Thanks to Randall and Catherine and Ron. And I think there was somebody else in the chat that made a comment. James. James. Yeah. And Tony uh, earlier, too. So thank you guys uh, for your uh, participation in the chat and for watching. Um, and we will see everyone next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go. Happy Black Friday.